Hi, I'm Lenore. I'm a singer and a voice teacher. If you want to win a, a free lesson with me, I pick a random lucky subscriber every month. Go to my website SingWell and subscribe there. Today I am going to react to Dimash again. The Diva Dance is the uh, song that we hear on the Fifth Element, from the movie Fifth Element. <laughs> I'm very uh, excited about this. Chai Cool, now he's singing uh, in his baritone register, um, just a very pleasant pop voice. Um, not as airy as he usually uh, starts from, the, from all of the two <laughs> numbers that I've seen before. Uh, so that's actually refreshing. He's, he's sometimes giving a little bit air into it, but other than that, it's uh, mostly just resonances. Beautiful. <laughs> Dose un'altra donna, ma perché tu non sei più tu? Che mai fate del nostro bene è diventato un freddo vivido le risate del nostro cielo scendo ormai i ricubirabili Io non sono più il tuo pensiero, non sono più il tuo amore vero, sono il dolce con fondo umano che non mangio. I'm not Italian, but I, I studied, um, you know, Italian pronunciation and I know, you know, the basics. Um, sounds okay to me. I mean, you Italians, you, you be the judge, but from a singer's point of view, that's, that's quite good. I've never heard him singing so low for so long. Yeah, and he's getting like a little more chesty here. Um, giving us a little more volume, so the action is coming, I can feel it. And it's a piece of cake for him. It's just la la la. It's not making any effort here whatsoever. <laughs> Okay, drama. Uh, <laughs> he's um, definitely belting here in his, um, I don't know if it's even possible, belting in your falsetto voice. Some of you will call it the head voice. I don't call that the head voice. The, the register where the guy sings like a girl, where I come from in my classical training, that's called falsetto. That's called what, like, what the counter tenors are doing. Uh, and head voice is just when you have head resonance anyway. Um, yeah, so that's the female register um, in belting. And that's wonderfully done. So 
African falsetto, but in the airy version. I'm just, I, I'm sorry I'm laughing. It's, uh, it's not necessarily funny, it's not necessarily meant to be melodramatic, but because I'm watching it in segments, then I'm just a little bit overwhelmed by it. I should watch the performance as a whole, um, and then I'll make an opinion also about the, the performance, the visual part of it. the end of that so had I done that I would never be able to do that but had I be, been able to do that I would have fallen on the floor too um, yeah so the the, um, the original is uh, obviously electronically manipulated he obviously is not I heard every single note that he made he, he done it all himself so that's amazing <laughs> Yeah, the only thing I have to say is that I, I would maybe turn up a little more um, the low notes when he does the, the glissando from the low note to the to the higher one. Uh, it, it, that's the job of the soundman. Yeah, that's not that's not he 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 did fine. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. That was kind of perfect. It, it was really it, and it was human at the same time. I was like, I can't close my jaw. <laughs> I was so shocked. <sighs> yeah, so we all knew that he had a very high register and he's using his whistle tone up there. He's reaching all the way to, um, you know, if it's in the same key as the original, I don't have perfect pitch. But if it is, then that's F sharp six, I think. So that's like semitone um, over the queen of the night. I would be curious to hear him sing the Queen of the Night. Maybe he'll do that someday. Maybe he's done it. Has he done it? The whole diva dance was made in the falsetto, falsetto and whistle tone. And the, it was fuller than the original. I think the original, it's a pre-recorded thing. And they made it a little more timid or uh, maybe gentle. I don't know how to call it. Um, and he gave it a little more fuller, like a fuller voice. And then he went to the baritone register because he needed to do the glissando. That was impressive. I didn't hear it so well though. I, I want to watch that again, all over again, and then a few more times. <laughs> I decided to watch it again um, because there's just too many stunts to, to just have in one time.
thing is so hard, but that's like, <laughs> it looks harder than other things. I don't know why. It was just so, it's so accurate, like doing it in staccato and so, yeah, and just go back to it so easily. Yeah. I'm speechless. Yeah. So there was one thing actually that I wanted to point out after I after I picked myself up from the floor. Um, just the the in general the very high notes, the extremely high notes that he makes, and in particular the last one that was both high and long. Um, he tilted his head and you know you're supposed to do that um, so that that was to be expected but it was really cool to see how he tilted and then went even more backwards to sort of almost lose control and fall back into the ins instrument so to speak um, so we opera singers we try to do that we don't want to tense up when we making high notes we want to sort of like give in to them and he did it so much so that he ended up on the floor uh, so uh, just um, interesting interesting to see and i um, hope you enjoyed it and subscribe <laughs>